Hello, and welcome to my QTP video tutorial where I will show you how to use an if then else statement. In this video, I'll cover the following three topics. First, what is an if then else statement? Second, what is a real world example of how to use an if then else statement? And third, how do I write the code to use it? As a reminder, to stay up to date with my latest videos, Make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. This moves us to our first topic which asks the question, what is an if then else statement? An if then else statement is used when you would like for something to happen if a condition is met. But if that condition is not met, you would like for something else to happen instead. This moves us to our second topic which asks the question, what is a real world example of how to use an if then else statement? Let's say you're taking a trip to the grocery store. When you get there, buy a can of green beans if they have them. However, if they don't have them, buy a can of corn instead. So let's now take this and put this into the form of an if then else statement. So, if there is a can of green beans at the store, then buy them. Else, buy a can of corn. This moves us to the third topic which asks the question, how do I write the code to use it? I'll now show you how to write the code in QTP for an if then else statement based on the example that was shown in the previous slide. To begin our example I'll create a variable that I will call green beans available and I will assign it a value of yes. Now throughout the example we'll be using this variable uh, to say whether or not the green beans are available at the store. If they are, we'll use the word yes. If they're not, we'll use the word no. So I'll bump down a couple of lines. And I'll then just create a message box that will say starting the shopping trip. For more information on how to use message boxes in your script, feel free to reference one of my other videos where I go into more information on that. I'll then bump down to a new line and I'll type the word if and I'll then hit the space bar. Now when you do that, you'll notice that QTP will automatically fill in some code for you. In our example, it placed in the word true and then then. So where the word true is, this is the conditional check that is going to take place. So in our example, we're looking to see are green beans available, either yes or no. So. I will go ahead and copy down the contents of line one in our script and I'll paste it over top of the word true. So now the way that the script reads is if green beans available equals yes then do something. Uh, so now what I'll do is bump down to line five. Now if green beans are available I would like to have a message box display that says found the green beans. So I'll go ahead and type that in now. However, if the green beans are not available, I want to buy a can of corn instead. So I'll create another message box that will say, uh, buy the can of corn instead. Now let's go over the way that the if statement is written here. Our first check is saying if green beans available equals yes, then execute the code that is between the word then and the word else which that is a message box that will say found the green beans. Now in our example we're, we set up a fallback meaning if the green beans are not available buy a can of corn instead. So the way to make that general catch-all meaning if the condition does not check out is you would type the word else as I have done here on line 6 and then anything that is between the word else and end if would then be executed. So in our example, we're going to pop up a message box that says, buy the can of corn instead. So since the green beans available does indeed equal yes, as we have set it here on line one, in this iteration when I run the test, we will see a message box that will say, found the green beans. So I'll go ahead and run that now. As you can see, we're starting our shopping trip. Then we got a message box that says, found the green beans. So that means that our conditional check did indeed work out. So I'll go ahead and click through this. Now let's say that the green beans were not available. 
And we'll simulate this by changing the green beans available variable assignment from yes to no on line one. So now what will happen is on line four, when it checks to see if green beans available equals yes, it will actually not equal yes. So what will happen, the code will then fall into where the word else is, and it will then execute the code that's beneath that which in our case will pop up a message box to say buy the can of corn instead. So I'll go ahead and run this to show you. As you can see we're starting our shopping trip. Then the message box that we were presented with was buy the can of corn instead which showed that we ignored the code that was in the top part of the if statement and we executed the code that was in between the word else and end if as our catch-all. This now concludes our video where I've answered the following three topics. First, what is an if-then-else statement? Second, what is a real-world example of how to use an if-then-else statement? And third, how do I write the code to use it? As a reminder, to stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. Thank you, and I hope that you have a great day.